Yo, what's up guys? Got my little pre-workout meal here. Also, I've got my supplements. I'm taking a lot more now. Basically, what I think has happened, my protein, there's there's this guy that I have like a contact with at my protein and he always used to like take forever to like send me the code. And recently he started like send, sending my like 200 pound voucher at the start of like every month straight away. Like he's on it. What I think is happening, because basically there's this guy that goes to my gym and He's putting in like massive orders on my protein because he's like, I think he's like bulk buying it and then like reselling it or something like that. So he's like using it for like business. So he's he's doing massive orders with my coat. So what I think is happening is that they're like seeing the amount of money like that's coming through my code. And obviously they're like, I'm on their radar sort of thing. So they're like, oh shit, like this guy's bringing in, bringing in loads of money. Uh, let me actually send send him the voucher. Anyway, yeah, so long story short, I'm getting vouchers like all the time and um, I'm just trying out loads of different supplements. So like some new ones here. Uh, you can't really see that. Uh, there we go. That's L-carnitine. I'm actually not really sure what it does. I remember just seeing, I remember seeing people that they like inject it and apparently it's actually really good. So I actually haven't really looked into what it does, but I think it's, I think it helps with like your recovery and it also helps with like your performance in the gym. Like you can just go harder or something. Then obviously I've got my vitamin D, another new one. I'm taking ashwagandha. I kind of, I kind of just like the feeling of, I kind of like the, like the idea of the feeling of sort of just a more mellow mood and just feeling i don't know i I'm, i just want to try it out apparently it's quite good for like your testosterone and shit as well but i've just heard that sometimes it can make people feel like flat even at their high moments where they should be feeling good that like good feelings don't feel good but that also means that bad feelings don't feel quite as bad i'm guessing so i'm just gonna give it a go if i don't like it then i don't like it then obviously creatine classics vitamin no uh multivitamin they're all the new supplements I'm taking. And yeah, pre-workout meal. I'm deadlifting again uh, today for the first time. Uh, I haven't deadlifted in fucking ages. Basically what happened is I was in the gym the other day and this guy called Owen, he was deadlifting and I saw him, it was like three plates and a 10. Or three plates, yeah, three plates and a 10. And I was just like, yeah, I can probably pick that up easily uh, even if I haven't deadlifted. I went over there, I just hopped into sumo and it just felt so it felt so natural again. It felt so nice. So I was just like, yeah, I'm going to start deadlifting again. So yeah, today I'm going to deadlift again. It is a deload week. I've never done a deload week before. Oh, fuck me. All this new, new news for you lot. I remember when I first started training, I would have massive breaks all the time. Um, I'll take like a few weeks off the gym and then I'll come back. And when I came back, it was like I had some sort of like new powers that I could go beyond where I was before. So I'm kind of hoping that that happens with deload weeks when you take deload weeks and then you come back like fresh and you can break through new plateaus and shit yeah that's about it pre-workout meal just got four eggs two bits of toast some ketchup on there uh, there's not really much ketchup uh, which is kind of disappointing and i've got another slice of toast over here which i'm going to put peanut butter on and some organic honey and i'm going to eat that a bit closer to my workout so yeah that's about it i'm going to eat this all right, this is how you make the greatest snack of all time. If you're like me and you like peanut butter, bro, this goes crazy, right? So, a little bit of toast. I've been going crazy on the peanut butter recently. Like, I've been putting a bit too much on there. Uh, and I'm probably, I'm gonna put my weight not going down that much to the lack of, to the excess of peanut butter, sorry, because I've been whacking so much on there. So I'm just gonna leave it as that. Like, if you're bulking, do a little bit more, but, for me right now, I'm cutting, so I'm trying to cut at least, so just a little bit of peanut butter. Crunchy peanut butter all the way as well. And then, yeah, then you grab a banana, you just sort of like chop it up in little pieces like that, put it on your bit of toast, just drizzle some honey over it. Boom, perfect little snack for pre-workout. Right, before I go in and train, I just want to talk about something. So if you're like, if you're anything like me and you're like a fairly sort of ambitious person, like you want to achieve some stuff with your life and like you, yeah, you're just like ambitious. You tend to stop enjoying life sometimes. Like for me, right, if I'm, 
somewhere where I've, I've got like big goals and whatever and I'm not near them goals and like it's all I'm thinking about I'm just like oh what do I need to do to achieve this and I can just get in my head so much and I compare to other people all this sort of stuff and then it just makes your life like really unenjoyable you know so if you're like me and and you do that as well I think it sounds it sounds like really easy like an easy switch but just like start learning to enjoy things like make your goal enjoying it right so like in the morning I woke up like this morning for example I woke up and I was like oh like recently I've been viewing my YouTube videos as such like a chore and I know in my life right if I if I don't enjoy something and I view it as a chore I'm not going to do it to the best of my ability like it will be if I'm not enjoying it it will just be shit like straight up so I woke up this morning with that sort of mindset of like, oh no, like I've got to do this, you know? And then I just switched it to like, nah, your your goal today is to have a good day and just enjoy yourself. Like just fucking have fun, right? Um, and then it, it sort of frees you up in a way. When when Once you make that your goal, because like obviously you're an ambitious person like me and, and like you want to achieve shit, like, I don't know, make money or get followers or whatever, all this sort of stuff. Like, I guess that's sort of for me. Um, but now I've just like changed my mindset with it. I'm just like, nah, fuck that. I'm just going to try and enjoy it and just have fun and just like do what I want to do. Um, which is like talking like this, you know? Um, and once you have that mindset, it just makes things better, uh, for me at least as, cause I can just build up loads of like, uh, like anxiety I guess around around like the tasks that I need to do and then it makes me just not do it to the best of the best of my ability so uh, that might help you out also social media as well like for me I use I use like Xbox and social media as like quite a big sort of like escape of my life so if I'm feeling bad in my life I'll use social media to sort of like escape into it and just uh, distract myself almost and that just doesn't help you whatsoever <laughs> it just yeah that just doesn't help so try not to do that but i feel like then people start um once you realize oh no social media is not great for me like it just makes me feel bad and i'm just using it as like a distraction thing and there's no real benefit in in it for me then you decide all right let me do like a detox or whatever and then you take time away and that seems like the good sort of alternative like go back to like the primal days like back in the day you know uh we never used to have phones or whatever and and you feel like oh as a human i should probably live like that but i don't actually think that's the right thing to do i think you just need to stop being a dickhead and stop using your phone and social media and all these like tools start using them as tools you know rather than like something that's just not helping you whatsoever because as a tool they are really fucking helpful like, you can learn anything and you can, like, actually develop skills like that, you know? So, don't use it as a distraction thing. Use it as, like, a... Use it as something where it's actually going to help you build your skills, you know? Uh, because you can literally Google anything. And for me, like, YouTube videos, right? I can either sit there on the homepage and scroll and, like, find just random YouTube videos. Or I can search something up. Like, I use YouTube as, like, Google pretty much because it's just... Like, you watch and listen, and that, for me, is, like, the best way to learn. And, yeah, you can actually, like, learn learn shit on YouTube, you know? Uh, so, yeah, try and enjoy life. And also, like, with detoxing, I don't think it's always the best thing because you can learn loads from social media if, if you actually use it in a good way, you know? And you will, you will find it in yourself once you, like, actually get in tune with yourself a little bit you'll see if you start watching something and you'll see yourself almost like fold a little bit like you'll you'll start feeling like shit when you watch it for a bit too long or like you watch something that you don't like and you'll just like start feeling like shit but if you're watching if you're watching a good video like there's this guy called better ideas on youtube some like bald guy and he just spits bars right and after watching videos of his There'll be certain creators that you'll watch, right? And they'll actually just, like, click with you. And, and you won't over-consume them. And you won't, like, distract yourself with them. You use it to, like, actually better your mind. Like, it will be, like, a background thing to your actual life rather than, like, an all-consuming video. But, yeah, 
that's just a uh, that's just a bit of waffle. I think Leo's pulling up to the gym now, so we're just gonna like sit in the car. I've got my coffee here. Um, we're still wait waiting on the pre-workout at the moment, amped. Um, yeah, it should be out pretty soon. I reckon in the next like four months or so, we'll have amped out, which would be pretty fucking sick. It is literally like it is literally the best pre-workout. Like we're not making lots of money from it, so I'd appreciate if you lot would actually support that and like buy that pre-workout rather than like the other pre-workouts. It's gonna be like 34, 34 quid. It might be like 37 with shipping. I'm not sure exactly, but something like that. Um, we're not making a lot of money whatsoever, like straight up. We're just about breaking even on the first drop that we're doing. So um, yeah, that's amped coming soon. It's gonna be fucking sick. I can't wait to like start taking that and whatever. But yeah, uh, coffee for now. And uh, we've got Leo here, so I'm not actually sure if we're filming a podcast today, or we might just, I might just film it on here, we'll see, I'll talk to him, but yeah. We're filming a podcast. Yeah. We're filming the podcast. We're filming podcast. We're filming the podcast. Alright, I'm not going to go too heavy on this deadlifting, because as I said earlier, like, obviously I'm deloading this week, so I wouldn't be going heavy anyway, and also because I haven't deadlifting in fucking ages. You probably shouldn't go heavy anyway, just because you'll probably wake up the next day or the day after and just be completely fucked. You kind of want to like ease yourself back into the back into the exercise. Um, so yeah, but yeah, I'm I'm fucking gassed to start deadlifting again. I can't lie. I think when I drop weight a little bit, like when I start cutting, I feel like some weight like comes off of like my my uh, adductors and shit. And I just find it like easier to get into the like get into the exercise or get into the deadlift. Sorry. Because it's been so long since I last deadlifted, I feel like I can't really remember what it feels like to like when I'm lifting three plates like back in the day. Because I, I don't actually know if any of you know, I actually deadlifted like 270, 270 kilos like back when I was deadlifting last year or something. But I wasn't really like doing well on social media at the time, so people don't really know that I'm actually I'm actually alright at deadlifting. But because it's been so long since I last deadlifted, I can't remember how three plates feels if that makes any sense. So I can't I can't really tell if I'm feeling good right now. But yeah, I'm not really planning on going heavy anyway. I've just got four plates on right now. Four plates. And I think that should be fine, like judging from the three plates. Four plates for like a few reps, I think I'll do that for, for like three sets. Three sets of three I reckon.
Fuck me, bro. I'm hungry. I'm a hungry hippo. Mm. If you want to sign up to my one-to-one -one coaching, the link is down below, as well as like the pre-pod. All of the links that whatever you want to find down there will be down in the description. So yeah, all that sort of stuff. Using my code at Gymshark, Harley, that will really help me as well. Um, all that sort of stuff. I appreciate you. Um, see you in the next video. <laughs>